Ladies and gentlemen, this bout scheduled for four three-minute rounds in the welterweight division. This bout is sanctioned by the British Boxing Board of Control. Your timekeeper at the bell, Mark Shannon, and the third man in charge of the action in the ring, referee Sean McAvoy. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner. He's wearing the red, yellow, and black. His official weight of 154 pounds and one ounce. He has a record of 14 fights, five wins, and one of those wins come in by way of knockout. Hailing from Venice, Italy, John Henry Mosquera. And his opponent fighting across the ring out of the blue corner. He's wearing the white, golden blue. His official weight of 149 pounds and five ounces. He is currently undefeated with two wins. And one of those wins come in by way of knockout. Hailing from Ashford, Kent, England's United Kingdom. Introducing to you Louis Muldowney! Okay lads, a four round contest. Keep it clean at all times, keep yourselves protected at all times. Touch gloves, here we go. Good luck lads. Second half, round one. Louis Mel Downey. Sounds like he sold a lot of tickets. Two and all. This is his third fight. Yeah, it's nice and full in here as well. Yep, yeah, it is. It is. His opponent, Henry Moss, is five and nine. It's a good jab to the ring from Louis. Ooh. Just, just glances the chin of Henry. Mosquera hasn't been stopped in his two fights. Yeah, Louis just trying to find his range of his jab. And he just takes a right up to the body there. A man with the Belgium uh, colour flag on his shorts. Yeah, I would have never have guessed that. <laughs> that's, that's, that's my hidden talent. <laughs> really good work from Louis here, just finding his range with a jab. Yep. Or good jab on him as well. Ooh, good jab there again. A good setting up with a fake fairy in it, a head and body. Fly back from Henry. Louis looks very, uh, I can't say he looks relaxed, he looks very tightly wound while Henry is the more relaxed one. Yeah, yeah. relaxed one. But Louis's doing a better work. I think he's finding he's found his range quite well with his jab. And he's just taking his time now. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing really bothering him like coming back from yeah. Henry Mascara's side so he's just letting go of these shots that's Still a little coming, sneaky yeah. uppercut there though good combination he gets yeah. caught in between them a little sneaky yeah. uppercut yeah it's a good fight so far he just needs to keep that jab up keep varying that jab Henry Mascara's got that kind of unbothered look by him yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we've seen that tonight. yeah we've seen that tonight. let's see if he wakes up as the round go on
first round safe to say I think was Louis. Oh yeah, most definitely. Both men just really trying to probably, uh, establish the jab and take the centre. Oh, good shots there from Mardani. Operating off a very tight guard. I mean, he looks really clean, he looks really composed. Looks focused. Yeah, he does. Good. Good kind of job. I like he's setting everything up as well. He's not just walking forward trying to yeah, land exactly, shots. Yeah. He's, you know, setting it up. He's fainting his way in. He's tapping his way in. Good variety. He left it to the body, to the head, and to the right, and right cross to the head. and it goes jab to the body. Just slightly misses with the right hand. Henry's got to be careful leaving that uh, left hand so low. I think he's a little bit more alert to what's coming over the top. Good jabs to the body from Louis. Yeah, Louis throwing some nice jabs. Just, just, just popping Henry's head back. Good combination from Louis. And again, second phase. Oh, there it is. That's the shot you've been trying to set up. He just missed by a little bit, but... You can see it when he goes to when, when Maldani goes to the body, he's looking for that right hand over the top. But Henry Mosquera is a little bit slick in and out of his feet. He looks like he's waking up a little bit now as well. His movement, lateral movement, and that's coming coming on. But Maldani's just staying focused. It's narrowly missing with that right cross. Yeah. Enter the round from uh, Maldoni. Round Very three! Starting this third round fast, both of them trying to establish the jab. Louis just doing the better work now. Good right hooks to the head and the body. Good jab from Louis to the body. Good return from Henry. Good jab back. The jabbing contest between these two men, just both trying to establish the more dominant jab and hold them percent off. Oh. Oh, good, good shot pivot, good pivot, good pivot, yeah. So he's been moving really well now. He's kind of establishing this fight a lot better. And Henry's just kind of walking him down this round now. Yeah, and he's standing up too upright. Mm -hmm. Standing too straight. Mm -hmm. 
kind of really relying on that shoulder roll to really evade that right hand. Yeah, but he just ends up leaning back. He's got to bend his knees a little bit for mm. that shoulder to be effective mm. if he wants to come back with some yeah, shots. Yeah, well. say, especially if he wants to counter it. Yeah. It's good. He's kind of keeping Louis honest. You know, he's keeping him. He's keeping it in his face and not letting him have anything easy. Yeah, he's keeping his lead hand busy, just yeah. in his face and making him think, oh, "How he, do I get past this?" He's experienced, you know. Yeah, he is. He's very experienced. Good combination from Louis. Henry needs to fire back now. Good body work there from Mardani. Yeah. It's very good work, very good. Seconds out, four and final round. Last round of a very good fight for Louis, you know what I mean? He's shown us an array of um, ability he's got, you know what I mean? He can go on the back foot. He's very compact, very tight, doesn't really could get hit of anything, he doesn't waste anything. Oh, Ooh, great fight and yeah. straight through for Louis. Nearly knocking his opponent out of the ring. Yeah, he's very tight, he hasn't really been caught with anything. He's kind of controlled this fight. He's shown a really good, strong um, arsenal of skills, you know? Yeah, he has. He, he, he's also I've, he's also shown where he's been trying to set things up as well, like mm. trying to work out um, Henry's style. Mm. And some, sometimes he's been successful, sometimes Henry, you know, been mm. able to deflect his shots, but mm. all he's done well. Yeah, yeah he's, he's set everything up. He hasn't really gone in there, just trying to walk through. He's set everything up. You know what I mean? He's landed good shots. He's set shots up with his jab. And you know, just like there, the right hand, you know what I mean? He set it up with a jab to the body. And he's not got a very, you know what I mean, a very slippery Henry in front of him, just you know, showing his defensive ability there. Yeah, yeah true. Oh, oh lovely. Shots, yeah. You know what I mean? Lovely. And Henry almost showing what he what he could what do, he could, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Good defense from Henry, he's almost just like that girl, he's just woken up now, he's really enjoying it, he's yeah, going yeah, up yeah, like he yeah, weren't yeah, bothered. Yeah. Not, but now he's in it, he's here. Yeah. I wonder what they're drinking in the red corner, what's going <laughs> on? <laughs> Great jab from Louis to the body. Oh, oh good counter from both men. You just want to see him step round him after a couple of, you know what I mean? He's, he's too tight, he won't get through otherwise. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. That's kind of in between that yeah. from Henry. Good feet right from Henry. Henry. Very good feet from Henry. He saved his, all his energy for this last <laughs> round. <laughs> Ooh, very good, evasive. Believe it, just there. Good fight. Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of boxing, we go to the referee scorecard. Referee Sean McAvoy scores the bout 40 to 36. And your winner. Still undefeated, Louis Muldowney! Louis, a really, really exciting four rounds of there. How are you feeling? I feel good. I'm a little disappointed in the performance. Um, but listen, a little bad down the office, but still, I think he's getting the win done. Tell me why you're disappointed in the performance. Listen, I was a little bit sloppy and I felt a little bit tired, but no excuses. Um, listen, I'm happy to get the win. 
and the next one will be even better. Just as long as I keep improving, I'm happy. Do you know what? You looked like you were having a really, really good time in there. And your opponent was, you know, he was quite negative for the first three rounds, livened up for the fourth round. How was that final round for you? Listen, that opponent there is a hard opponent. He won his first few pro fights and, listen, he's definitely not no mug. So I knew I could go in there and take risks because he fires back and he's a, he's a good boxer himself. So, I, listen, I was just trying to take it nice and slow, get beyond my shots. Yeah, listen, I'm, I'm happy. You have a staggering amount of support in the building tonight. How does it feel having so many people here supporting you? Listen, I just want to say a big massive thank you to everyone who's come out today. I really appreciate, appreciate everyone spending their hard-earned money uh, coming to watch me fight. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate it. And when can we expect to see you back out in the ring? Uh, I'd like to be back out April time. I'm trying to be as busy as possible this year and get to hopefully 7-0 by the end of the year is the goal. Big plans, very exciting fight, a very exciting prospect. Congratulations on your victory tonight. Thank you very much.